Once upon a time, a long time ago, a man had a daughter whom we all know. Her name was Cinderella, and her face was fair, a beautiful girl with golden hair. When his first wife died, a new one he found. She had two daughters who were mean, plump, and round. The prince of the kingdom sent an invitation to a royal ball for all of his nation. The two stepsisters prepared for the ball, but they wouldn't let Cinderella go at all. After they left, she started to cry. <laughs> then her fairy godmother appeared to find out why. Cinderella told her tale of woe, and her godmother said, I say you can go. Here are glass slippers and a gown of gold, and even a coach with stallions bold. Have a good time, but remember well, you must leave the ball before the clock strikes twelve. For if you forget to leave, my dear, all of your fineries will disappear. As the fairy godmother said her goodbyes, she saw tears of joy in Cinderella's eyes. When Cinderella arrived at the castle, she was greeted by a handsome prince. He became so enchanted, he asked her to dance, for suddenly his heart was filled with romance. They danced the evening through, and the prince never left Cinderella's side. It was getting late, and the castle clock began to strike twelve. Cinderella turned from the prince and ran all the way across the ballroom floor. She ran so fast she'd lost a glass slipper, but she was just too late. When she got to the gate, all of her fineries were gone because the clock just couldn't wait. Inside the castle, the prince announced to everyone that he would marry the girl whose foot would fit the glass slipper. And the very next day, all of the ladies in the land came to the castle to try their hand. The two stepsisters tried their best, but they failed too, like all of the rest. Smiling, Cinderella asked, May I try? Her stepsisters laughed, but it was her turn, and the prince said that everyone must have a fair try. Cinderella's foot fit the glass slipper perfectly, because as we all know, it was made for her. She brought the other glass slipper from her pocket and put it on too. Then her fairy godmother appeared, and with the tap of her wand, Cinderella's rags were changed into the most beautiful gown you can imagine. At last, her stepsisters recognized her. They knelt at her feet and said that they were sorry for all of their meanness. The prince and Cinderella were so happy, the happiest people in all of the kingdom. A few days later, he and Cinderella were married, and they were happy the rest of their lives. So remember, not to choose your friends by the clothes they wear or the money that they have, not by their homes or where they're born, but only by what they're really like.